So shortly thereafter. I hope the round freezes before Friday. Uh, no, it won't, won't. It won't. Oh, God. It won't. Uh, it takes a couple of days of below freezing weather to firm the ground back up. It's going to be a mess. It's going to be a mess. This is when my lawn gets ruined. Yeah. It's six o'clock. I'd like to call the meeting to order. I'm going to turn the meeting over to uh, Andy Robertson. Uh, you just quickly, if we could go down the table and get each member to state their name and their role at the meeting. Uh, this is, uh, we're attempting to use the uh, translation program that uh, Selectman Bugby recommended to us at the last meeting. We're actually going to do it from the video as opposed to trying to record on the phone. It's the same race and supposedly works as well. Um, but uh, it needs to recognize our voices at least once, I was assured. Otherwise, Denise is going to spend... <laughs> well, I'm figuring out who is saying what. So if we could just start with Scott and get everyone to say their name and their role at the table before we start. Uh, Scott Buckby, Selectman. Katrin Casper, Select Person. Gary Brown, Chairman. Andy Robertson, Town Administrator. Denise Duval, Assistant Town Administrator. Uh, that should do it, and if you come to the podium to speak tonight, if you could say your name before you start talking, that would help too, and thank you, Carrie. Uh, get out of your way. Okay, so I, I'd like to open the meeting uh, to address, if you look at the agenda number, number, uh, well, number one, where it says call, call to order and pledge of allegiance. Um, to resurrect this, uh, it's been several, several months, maybe a year, uh, we brought this issue up uh, to do the Pledge of Allegiance at the opening of the meeting. And uh, we never did actually take a vote on doing the Pledge of Allegiance at the opening of the meeting. Uh, so what I'd like to do now is go ahead and uh, Make a motion to uh, include the Pledge of Allegiance in our call to order uh, for our uh, select board meetings. Can I get a second? I'll second it. Having no second, having no second for the motion. And the motion. I'll second it, that's fine. I'm sorry, I'll second it. I will second it and we can put it to a vote. Okay, I'd like to do a roll call vote. Select person Casper. No. Select person Bugby. No. Selectman Brown, yes. Motion passes. No, nope. motion does not pass. <laughs> Why not? We only had one no. Two no. Two yeses. Nope, two no. No, I said no. I know you said no. She I said no as well. Oh, you said no. I'm sorry. I okay. motion said yes. I apologize. That's okay. Therefore, the motion doesn't pass. <clears throat> public comment. We're open for public comment. If anyone has something they'd like to say, please raise your hand. I'll recognize you. You come to the podium. Uh, you address the select board. And you have uh, three minutes to state your case. Anybody? Okay, we'll move on uh, to appointments. Item number three, Scott Nimmit, Steve Bullock. Scott Nimmit, Fire Chief. <laughs> Uh, not to throw Steve under the bus. I was out on the November 29th meeting. Um, me and Steve talked earlier in that week discussing the part-time vacation uh, and sick leave. In our conversations, we were talking about 24 hours because our my members only work eight-hour shifts or 12-hour shifts, so it doesn't add up to the 25. Um, talking with him, he just misspoke. Uh, we also discussed this with Joanne, and Joanne would like to see the 20, because then it keeps everything the same for part-timers with 
uh, holiday thing. So we're looking to see if we can get that adjusted. So we're asking to change it from 25 hours to 20 hours. I do have the motion. Request you. Any information on the impact of that change? There really wasn't any impact. I just I screwed up when I was talking. It was always supposed to be 24. <clears throat> um, 25 does, I don't know why I said it. Okay. Should have been always 24. And then after we'd done it was when Joanne had said it would be easier since 20 hours is the cutoff for part-time employees to get the vacation pay. Any questions? Or I'll make a motion to move to add following language to the recently approved vacation and sick time policy for part-time employees. Those part-time employees who have worked for the town for at least six months and have consistently been scheduled for at least 20 hours a week shall receive 24 hours of vacation time and 16 hours of sick time beginning January 1st and ending December 31st of each year. Effective January 1, 2022. Said leave time will not roll over or accumulate from year to year. Can I get a second? I'll second that. And then I just have a question. Okay. So if somebody works for six months, so they start in, what, let's say June, then do they get the full 24 hours or do they get the portion of 24 hours that is based on that half year? That is a question that I haven't posed. So our personal, we get two personal days as full timers that gets prorated. Okay. So <clears throat> we were hoping to make it fit in with all the other policies that are current. How we do that so currently? It be prorated. Okay, perfect. Oh, I can uh, talk with Joanne about making sure that happens. Okay. Does anyone else have any comments? Or... Do a roll call okay. vote. Selectman Bugby? No. Select person Casper? Yes. Selectman Brown? Yes. Yeah. Motion passes. All right, so we have one other thing that got brought up last meeting, but either one of us were here. Those doors mm -hmm. to make everything work upstairs for the locks and everything that we're putting on, those doors need to be removed and a wall put in. Because as right now, people can just walk around and walk right in. Um, we can get all the furniture out through those doors and you still have two means of egress out of the room back there and right there, so. And how is that better than just locking those doors? Just to keep it safer or what is the? You can lock them, I, either way is fine with me. I just don't, the whole setup for this is to lock the doors so that nobody can, the public can't get into this back room and to not do anything to those doors kind of them limits us with everything Absolutely. that we're doing right now. Absolutely. So and either way, it's fine with me. Because if we lock them, we just lock them and then we don't have to do any more work or put in anything else. If we lock them though, we have to lock them from the back side. Yep. And if there's a problem in here, and people run for those doors and not the ones they're supposed to. Okay. You know what I mean? You're just gonna have to put a not an exit sign. Yeah. I feel like that would be more cost effective as us. So we already have the materials to do it and okay. we were gonna use those doors in the other room. Oh. So I gotta buy, either way I gotta buy, if we Perfect. don't, if we leave them, I gotta buy doors. If we okay. don't leave them, I'm reusing, reusing those doors. Okay. I just don't want to waste material. Perfect. Do you have any questions? Um, for the fire chief, I guess, in terms of going forward, at some point we're gonna be moving out of this building. <clears throat> would you still need doors in that location? No, you wouldn't. Because what would this place become in terms of if we looked at the old plans, this would either be a training room or most likely the training room, so we'd so be you fine. Still wouldn't even need doors, no. Okay, that's fine. Okay. And you answered the only other thing I think you had questions about was the whole egress issue. Yeah. And I think you answered it, so. Yep. Okay. Thanks. And there's no furniture that can't get out, so it's good. 
Okay. Do we need to vote? Or what do we no need other to comment, no other questions. No. We're, we're saying yes. To the doors. <coughs> Turn it into a wall. Item number four, regular <coughs> business, town administration report. Yes, thank you, Terry. Um, I'll start with, uh, just go down the list here, update on Atlantic Broadband. Atlantic Broadband, uh, which is now Breeze Line, as I think we discussed at the last meeting, may not pursue a franchise here in Lee. Uh, they recently dropped plans in two other Seacoast communities uh, where Comcast and its affiliate Fidium were running high fiber, um, high speed line. and. Um, Consolidated uh, via Fidium is planning on being wrapped up uh, running cable, I believe. Uh, you had mentioned, Karen, uh, at the end of March. Um, when I talked to them, they weren't certain how soon they would begin operating service to a large part of the town. They did put me on an email notification list, um, so as soon as that is available, I'll be notified. But I would expect that it will be late spring of this year, uh, given their schedule to finish up. I also, um, I had talked to uh, Brendan O'Connell at uh, Donahue, Tucker Chiandella, um, and he said anywhere that uh, Consolidated had come in and run lines, uh, Atlantic had quietly folded and gone away, um, <laughs> just making a business decision that yeah. wasn't worth the cost uh, to compete against two you know, providers. <clears throat> um, it's likely uh, Consolidated is just going to offer um, high-speed fiber internet, but they're probably going to offer OTT over-the-top streaming as well. So it won't be true television, but that is uh, an intended option uh, with their plan in addition to the internet, which I know is certainly gaining in popularity and may uh, push other competitors to be more competitive if they come in. Mm -hmm. Um, regarding the Durham water line update, I started with Karen Rossi on this, who reached out to April Talon in Durham, who referred us to Benjamin Dreyer at Underwood Engineers, who has sent a request to DeFelice, the GC for the project, um, as to what the estimated completion and water update is. As of today, we have not heard back from Ben or DeFelice, but uh, I think we're well connected to them and I expect to hear shortly. Um, regard to the survey cost, I think Denise included a copy uh, attached to the agenda of what we paid for the voters guide. That was about $1,260 uh, to get the voters guide out to uh, 1,750 households here in Lee. I'm assuming the cost would be about the same. That breaks down to $900 for production. and. Um, Man hours and three hundred and fifty dollars, or person hours and three hundred and fifty dollars for postage. Um, I'm assuming we're looking in the same ballpark. Although every time uh, Denise and I have submitted something for printing, we've had to haggle a little bit because of the availability and the cost increase with paper. Um, so I can't guarantee that it will be exactly the same. Um, uh, lights in the historical building, uh, Phyllis White had reached out to us about uh, electrical work in the historical society building, specifically adding lighting for some exhibits. I'm not sure if they're new exhibits or improved exhibits. Um, I referred her, or rather referred the DPW director to her. Um, Steve has been using an electrician for work in this building and town buildings. Uh, mentioned to me that uh, this is one of the only electricians that had actually returned a call or, or wasn't so busy. Um, right. They couldn't maybe consider something like that. So I'm assuming that Phyllis and Steve have had some conversation, but uh, that was the gist of that. No, yeah. <laughs> I, I haven't gotten a hold of her yet. Um, the electrician's finally coming tomorrow at 2, so okay. the first thing tomorrow morning I was going to call her. So they're going to look at the bunk rooms. They're going to look at the primal vent system, and then I was going to bring them over to the historical society because I, they're cherry picking work right now, and not a lot of people are saying yes to too much. But the company that's coming is um, Artisan Electric out of Madbury, so they are local. Okay. Yep. Thanks, Steve. Well, we've spoken to me about that heat in that building, we would just have electricity. I think this is a I believe there is electricity there now, and this would be to upgrade and add some lighting for specific exhibits. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's really on the bottom floor. Mm -hmm. Remember those little track light things they have? Yeah, yeah. They want, because they've changed things around. on you know, yeah, yeah, so they're looking for the uh, have extra additional lights around, okay. so that's what it is. But Phyllis knows more than... Right, okay. So. Um, 
The Health Trust unanticipated funds, these are wellness funds that are provided uh, by Health Source to towns for use. Um, Denise coordinates this and has coordinated in the past. She has a couple of programs to encourage uh, mental health and physical health in employees. Um, I think this year you used it for the um, not payback, but uh, pay it forward. Pay it forward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the program, healthy lunch. Uh, healthy, healthy lunch. And uh, healthy uh, lunches too, which <coughs> involved uh, raw green vegetables and salads. So, um, but uh, I do need a motion to accept that five hundred dollars from the board, or we have to send it back. <laughs> Move to accept five hundred dollars received from the health trust. For the wellness program said funds to be spent on campaign within the wellness program and grant Lee Town employees permission to participate in campaigns within the health trust wellness program as presented by the wellness coordinator throughout the 2022 calendar year who is the wellness coordinator denise duval is the wellness coordinator can i get a second Second. Hmm. Roll call vote, Selectman Bugby? Yes. Select person Casper? Yes. Selectman Brown? Yes. Motion passes. Great, thank you. Um, I had uh, three miscellaneous communication items. Uh, the first is regarding the parish hall, and it's a communication and a question. Um, I have had two groups that are interested in use. The parish hall? What is the parish hall? House. Parish House. Okay. We don't have a parish hall. Sorry, I'll correct that. The parish house. Uh, I've had two interested groups. Um, one interested in possible discussion of rehab and the rental of the building. The other possibly interested in the same, a little more vague. And I'm wondering if there is a good contact point to point these people towards with regard to any possible discussion of the use of that. I love the idea because that's something that we can discuss. We would have to set up some parameters around um, what needs to be done to that house so it's feasible again. Well, it's still a zoning issue. Yep. So. The zoning issues are water? No. What else? Probably not. So, one thing that we could discuss is if it's something that is a um, charitable, like a, a nonprofit, would the church be willing to share that space? You know, because prop instead of having to move the actual house, oh. if it's a nonprofit, would the church be willing to? You have to propose something to them. Well, I right, can make that an agenda item yeah, for a future meeting. I just I didn't know if there was somebody that in town time. that was the go-to person on the parish house. Do we have someone? Is there, who would be qualified? Was this the right thing to do? Well, in terms of what can be done or what it, it would have to come before us anyways, so right. it would be us. So okay. I'll make it an agenda item, and the board can discuss if they want to uh, meet with either of these two groups. And I think, it, again, it would be great if I, I, just, I don't know what we've put together already, but just to see what the options are, so that if somebody does ask, we could say these are the things that would have to be fixed, and then to talk to the church about. And that's that. basically what they asked me, and I had no good answers for them. Right, so we need to find those that have all been created. I know the church had made one a long time ago. I think we've made a list at some point. Of what needs to be done? Yes. Lots of things have to be done. But right. We're, what, are, what are they so that we could say to not well, we have a we have a quote have from one. two or one. We at least no, have we, one. We have the historical building assessment. Yeah, which will tell you. And we also have quotes in terms of the cost to do those particular things. So that's available. Okay. I just know a lot of local communities are converting yeah. parish houses, and sometimes they're willing, they're able to get volunteer work where you know another town could necessarily. And the, Great from information. the lot line thing, you'd have to have a discussion with the church. They are amenable to it, right? But I think they'd be looking for some kind of compensation, right? So, so I think those are conversations we should definitely have. Maybe we could have a house meeting at some point. Okay, I will. Um, I'll put that on a future meeting um, on the agenda, and I'll also uh, go through the historical building assessment. Okay, thank you. So I can discern. Yeah, and ask the church too what they've come up with, so we have a few things to look at. Okay. Um, another item, uh, I was able to uh, work with a local realtor uh, to discharge a welfare lien um, this week, quite unexpectedly, and it's from quite a number of years ago, but uh, we're going to get a couple of thousand dollars back. Yeah. Looking forward to that, and Pam Mattingly instructed me over the phone uh, how to write 
welfare lien discharges. So okay. I'm a little more well versed in my duties. Nice. Um, and lastly, uh, I had a conversation with the chairman of the library trustees. Um, they are amenable to meeting with the board, but not until they've firmed up details with their design team about their design. And they will look for an agreeable date uh, after they have concluded their design process. I know that they have recently already spoken with Jones Beach, then another spent more money on a new survey. So is there any, are they going to be spending more money between now and then? They <laughs> were not specific uh, as to their intentions. That, that would be my concern as well because one of the things that we've talked about in terms of approaching them about is the cessation of that. Mm -hmm. And I'll cover, in case seeing if we can agree on an option of how to proceed without them spending more money. I think the conversation is not just on the design, but on the yeah. whole process. So I think it would be important to have it as soon as possible. Okay. My communication had nothing to do with the design. It was the board wants to meet with you. Right. Um, the response I got back was that after okay. we firmed up the design process, okay. we'll we, meet with the board. We but I can meet with them sooner. I will contact uh, them again and say that uh, there's an immediate need. Great. And the board <coughs> meet with them sooner than later. And then we'd love to hear about the design later. And it's a separate meeting from a regular board. Right. It was it was going to be a work session. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. And that was all I had, unless there are specific questions for me at this time. Um, I do have a question. Can you put on the next agenda the discussion about the management items that were noted in the audit? Yep. That will give us a chance to read them more completely. Yeah, yeah. But there's... It just as a, as a side note, it looked to me like the uh, management concerns were exactly the same as they have been uh, for a number of years now. But maybe with new, exactly different eyes, reading them with concerns. So <laughs> maybe we take it differently. Let's see. Are we on item five? You're on four B, I believe. If Andy's done. I'm sorry? You're on 4B if Andy's 4B? done. 4B? Okay. So that's the consent agenda items. And I have the consent agenda here, which includes the appointment form um, for Don Jean, so I'm naming her to the Stratford Regional Planning Commission as a commissioner. Great. Okay, we can we can move on to the unfinished business, uh, the, the uh, election coverage hours. We, do we need a motion to? Yes. Sign the consent agenda. Yep. Do we need a motion to the consent agenda? I don't know. I'll do it. Got it. I move to accept the <laughs> as presented. Wait a minute. I move to accept the consent agenda items as presented unless an item is removed to discuss. So. I second. Roll call. All those in favor? No, mm -hmm. roll call. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Motion passes. Yeah, I would mention that the uh, Chelsea Brook Culvert replacement grant agreement is uh, the only change here is format. Um, the Governor's Council has changed the format of paperwork they accept, and uh, the folks at DES apologize profusely, but they do need those pages uh, reinitialed on the new format with signature. And initialed at the bottom of the page. Um, you want to have your name and title here, and then your signature. Okay. Mm -hmm. And should it be carried or can I do it? All three of us have to do it. All three of us have to do it. Yeah. All right, so how do you fix that now? And they only give you what? One little line. Yeah. That, yeah. Well, we can all just share that space. I never learned to share. <laughs> well, it's so good to start practicing and learning new things. Don't stop That's, learning. Scott hasn't signed this yet. Doesn't well, that, yeah. Nope, they haven't got that. So where do you want me to sign again? So it says here, this is where you say sign, and then here's the name and title. So maybe you just, just do the title over there. Yeah. As long as I can read it somewhere. Okay. 
big deal is your signature and initials. We can incorporate titles where necessary. And it's such a fun date to write, so fun to miss. Uh, two two twos. What is it? Two two two. It's Tuesday. Two two two. Two twenty two. Twenty two. Twenty two. I was letting you have space because I figured your handwriting is nicer, but I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. I was leaving that for the All right. All right. All right. You're gonna sign this. You just have to initial all these with us. Okay. being quiet, um, something that we have talked a lot about is starting up some different committee, one being for the technology. technology committee. How do we go about starting that? Um, I can uh, put together a framework um, based on what other communities might be doing and some other recommendations. Okay. Um, I'm certainly happy to do that. Gary? You can just Yeah, that'd be great. There's another committee we wanted to come Creators. Creators, thank you. And so, yeah, another committee about um, the... No one You've had difficulty getting interest in that. Oh, there's a lot of interest. <laughs> oh, you have more? Yeah, I've, heard, I've actually heard of several people say they were interested. So they just have yeah, I've listed about seven people. Oh, good. Oh, good. So it's ready to go. I've so seen... Make it official. So they just need a charge. A charge. Yes, yeah. and actually, uh, Kerry had given me a pretty good idea of his original intention um, based on the welcome wagon uh, strategy and charge, and I can put that uh, together formally and bring it to the board, and if that looks good, we yeah. can move forward with it. Yeah, and this was brought to us by um, Chief Nemec. That was an original one we did a long time ago. It had some great ideas for how to use local businesses and those sorts of things. So we're hoping to give this to them, have the map on the back, and mm -hmm. um, we're hoping to give this to that group, and then hopefully the historical design could take it after that we decide to So this would be a really great reference. Um, we'll pass that to what year is that? 70? 79. Yeah. <laughs> Does Chief Nemec keep things that are that old all the time? 42 years? I don't think it's that old. condition, I have to say. I was very nervous about holding it for a while, because it was in, like, pretty pristine. And it was funded by um, people advertising. Yeah. Okay. I think we've gotten through B. <laughs> Unfinished business elections coverage. I would, I would like to appoint Patricia Jenkins in my stead. Uh, I'm sorry? I would like to... <laughs> <laughs> I would like to designate Patricia Jenkins as my designee for election day. I've spoken to her and she's accepted. All right, great. So she will be the select woman pro tem yep. for Mr. Bugby? From noon till four. Right. Ish. Four ish. How okay. about four ish? Um, I did discover um, in further discussion on this, that if for some reason one of you doesn't show up, can't be there, or needs to move, uh, needs to leave immediately, the moderator can uh, also appoint a uh, selectman pro temp in your stead for temporary absence or full day absence. Great, yeah, I'll just need like a lunch break. Sounds good. <laughs> so if you don't see anyone you know, you can tell Don to appoint Perfect. someone so you can take a lunch break. All right, sounds good. So I'm going to get really grumpy. Well, you could provide lunch, you know that, right? But I have to make sure someone's doing their job. Oh, no. You think well, if I, if I leave, oh, if, if I leave, stay yes. there, oh. yeah.
Okay. So that covers the unfinished business. We're going to move into other business. Move to enter into non-public for New Hampshire RSA 91-A colon 3, Roman numeral 2, lowercase a plan. Roll call vote. Go. Second. 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 Okay. Second. Roll call vote. Selectman Bugby. Yes. Select person Casper. Yes. Selectman Brown. Yes. any kind of accommodation in that whole process so okay. oh and the other thing we want to do is I think we want to I don't want to put words in your two mouths right. but uh, fast track the IT committee as soon as possible to get that up and running so okay if you can generate for us a charge for them yep. basically we want them to look into all kinds of IT related issues within the town one of them specifically the what is that software go that steve's right. looking for the gis yeah, yeah. oh okay uh, it's in the financial planning tool it's like eighteen thousand dollars or so uh so one, that's one of the things we want to look into the other thing we wanted to look into is um, a payroll package something that interfaces with something tyler change with payroll uh, one of the things it sounds like the department heads have taken an awful lot of time in terms of processing the payroll and getting into it's the system. time collection time collection yeah. and payroll so if we can find out what would work with Tyler most of these packages upload or into something so uh, that's one of the things that we would like them to look into like a number one thing yep and I had I know that I've talked with Joanne about whether we could use a program like Utila Pro or something similar to that for okay. like Tyler I'm not sure that we can but it's clearly sapping the department heads mm -hmm. yeah. and my office um, as I mentioned to Katrin yeah. earlier this evening um, we were on hold for over two hours waiting for a call back from um, Tyler I'm right. assuming that uh, I think you might have gotten a text from Joanne that they finally oh, came to so. yeah. But it, it ties yeah. at least two people. And up. if we have to say goodbye to Tyler and we have to move forward, well, we I was going to gonna say, are we going to spend money on a package to work with Tyler if we're going to get rid of Tyler? Right. I, I, think, I think we need to open up to all options well, and we really need to think We can about bring it forward to the IT committee. Mm -hmm. and Perfect. Forward with it. Perfect. Exactly. There are some good options out there. Because I believe you had at least one person was interested. Was there other yeah. people? or? Yes, I talked to... Um, okay. Uh, an outfit out of um, 
Concord, New Hampshire, that deals with Checkmate, which is a national and international. Do you mean the IT department? I'm, I'm sorry, in terms of the volunteers for the IT community. Oh, um, Cord yes, we get Cord is interested. Dean and, Rubin um, has mentioned he would like to be on it. Yep, I can start with them, and I'm sure they, they may have some names as well. Okay. Forward. Good. 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 Brilliant people of the town of Lee on it. So I like the new format, so hopefully all these things that we just talked about will appear under old business or whatever for the next time yes. so we don't and it, uh, lose those particular it things. Keeps it moving forward. That's a sort of a consolidation of a couple of other towns and um, what I used to do in Deerfield and I think Katrina, you pulled Barrington and um, a couple of other things. Yeah. I feel good at Rye. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. That's right. great. Good, good. All right. Meeting adjourned. There we go. Rain, snow, sleep, we got it all coming. <laughs>